Let's study the numericals of physics chapter 1 from the Oswald textbook. Let's study question number 2. In a vernier caliper, there are 25 divisions. Usually there are 10 divisions, but this has 25 divisions, which means it will be more accurate, a smaller least count than the usual. It coincides with 24 divisions of the main scale. That piece of information was not important for this numerical. Now, each centimeter on the main scale is divided into 20 equal parts. So again, that's more than the usual number of parts. Usually on a main scale, which is like a ruler, a centimeter is divided into 10 parts. But this time it's 20 parts. Find the least count. Now, least count formula is always pitch upon number of vernier scale divisions or VSDs. And pitch here is nothing but the smallest unit measured on the main scale, also called main scale division. That is the least count of the main scale. So pitch in this case is one centimeter, which is divided into 20 parts. So each is of 0.05 centimeters. Typically it is one millimeter, which is 0.1 centimeter. But in this sum, it's 0.05 centimeter. And now the formula LC is equal to pitch upon number of VSDs. And then you solve it further, cut, cut, and into 2 into 2, 2 upon 1000 is 0 0.002 centimeters. Next, the third sum. The thickness of a pen as measured by a vernier caliper is found to be 1.6 millimeter. And I prefer solving everything in centimeters. So that will be 0 0.16 centimeter. What will be the correct thickness if there is a negative zero error of 0 0.02 centimeters? Now, the correct reading is always the total reading minus the zero error. By the way, since the zero error is negative, minus of minus becomes plus. So we have to add them and this is the answer. And don't forget to convert that into centimeter first, the main reading. Now let's do six alpha. Find the reading of the vernier caliper. Now this is marked as 9. So this is probably 9.1, 9.2, 9.3, 9.4, 9.5. .9 and then beyond that we have 10. Is If this was marked as 10, then it would be 9.2, 9.4, 9.6, 9.8 .9 and then 10 directly. So that each division, main scale division is not 1 millimeter. It's two millimeter, but that's not the case here. So eight would be somewhere here. So it will become, if this is nine, this would be 8.9, 8.8, 8.7, 8.6, and so on. So first of all, the main scale reading would be 8.6 centimeters because the zero of the vernier scale is after that reading. So that's how we know the main scale reading. So the main scale reading is 8.6 centimeters. Zero of the vernier scale was between 8.6 and 8.7. Next, vernier scale reading. The formula for that is LC into CD. Since no information about the least count is given, we will take the usual least count, which is 0 0.01 centimeters. And the coinciding division, let's find out. Well, 1 and 2, don't count 0, okay, so 1 and 2, 2 is coinciding from the main scale and the vernier scale, straight line, rest, nowhere else do I see coinciding, they're all crooked lines here, so coinciding division is 2, and why was least count the usual 0 0.01, because on the main scale, the pitch is 1 millimeter, and there are number of 10 number of divisions on the vernier scale, so even if you calculate it, it will be 0 0.01 centimeter, but in this case, no need to calculate it, because they've not asked as to find the LC. You can do it mentally. So now, substituting the values and solving and final reading is always MSR plus VSR. MSR always gives us the answer up to one decimal place and VSR gives us answer up to two decimal places in a vernier caliper. This is the final answer in centimeters. Next, seven alpha. Now, there is a zero error here because they have mentioned that the jaws are touching each other and yet the zero of the vernier scale and the zero of the main scale are not coinciding. If the zero of the vernier scale is to the left, that means it is a negative zero error. In part B, it is positive zero error. But let's solve the 
a part which is negative 0 error how to calculate it well the formula usually is lc into cd but since it is a negative 0 error the formula changes slightly it becomes minus lc into n minus cd where n is a number of total vernier scale divisions and cd is a coinciding division as usual so which one is coinciding one two three no fourth fourth one is coinciding see straight line here so substituting the values lc will take it as usual minus sign don't forget it 10 minus 4 is 6 so this is the final answer of negative zero error now the eighth sum one screw gauge has a pitch of one millimeter and uh, um, 100 csds that is circular scale divisions and in screw gauge B, it has a pitch of 0.5 millimeter and 50 CSDs. Which one has a smaller least count? Or in other words, which one is more accurate? Let's calculate for both. First, convert the pitch into centimeters. Now the least count is pitch upon number of CSDs, which is already given. So just solve it and you surprisingly get the same answer. That means both have equal LC, both are equally accurate. Next, the tenth sum. There are 100 divisions of the thimble, so CSDs are 100. The spindle advances 1 millimeter when the screw is rotated about 4 times. You see, if the screw is rotated 1 time, the distance it covers ahead is called its pitch. Now, on rotating it 4 times, it goes ahead by 1 millimeter, that is 0 0.1 centimeter. So then, unitary method. If it is rotated by only one time, then how much does it advance? And that would be called the pitch. So let's find the pitch first. The pitch is that 0 0.1 centimeter divided by 4. So the pitch is 0 0.025 centimeter, meaning in one rotation it goes ahead by just 0 0.025 centimeter. And then finding the least count is pretty straightforward. Pitch upon number of CSDs, and number of CSDs is given as 100. So we get the answer as this in centimeters. Next, 14th Bravo, find the zero error. Well, in a screw gauge, if the zero on the circular scale is above the baseline, the horizontal baseline, it is called a negative zero error. By the way, this was a positive zero error. And this is checked before measurement. That is when the screw spindle and the stud are touching each other. So, here, again, nothing about least count is given, so we are going to assume the usual least count of a screw gauge, which is 0 0.001 centimeter. By the way, for a micrometer screw gauge, it is 0 0.0001 centimeter. Now, the formula is, uh, for positive zero error, it would have been a straightforward LC into CD, but here it is minus LC into N minus CD. And here, the number of circular scale divisions is not 100, by the way, it's 50. You see 45. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, which coincides with 0 again, and the cycle starts again. And which one is coinciding with the baseline? 47. So that's why I wrote 47, and then we get this as the answer. Next, the 18 sum. It takes 0. Point, no, the 16 sum. Find the length of a seconds pendulum. Seconds pendulum means the time period is 2 seconds. So what is the length? Where g is this much. Now we know that on Earth, the average value of uh, the length is approximately 1 meter. So we need a more accurate answer. Let me give you a hint. If g is 10, the answer will be 1.01. .01. And if g is 9.8, the answer will be 0 0.99. This will save you a lot of calculations. Let's see how to solve this. We start with the formula. I'm not using the square root formula because I have to find L. If I had to find time period, then I would have used the square root formula, which is the same thing as this. The time period was 2, so 2 squared is 4, so 4 and 4 cancelled. And g is given as 10 pi, we always take as 3.14 in science. We don't take fraction values. But if your school teacher says otherwise, follow your school teacher. So we send everything on the left hand side. L is alone, that's what we have to find. Remember, 3.14 square is 9.86. Two decimals is enough. And this, no need to solve, the answer will be 1.01 .01 meters. Two decimal answer is enough. Now the 18 sum. It takes 0 0.4 seconds for a pendulum bob to move from main position to one extreme position. Find the time period. Well, time period is one complete, the time taken for completing one oscillation. That is from main position to extreme position, back to the main position, to the other extreme position and back to the main position. So if from here to here it takes 0 0.4, 
so 1 2 3 4 it will take totally 1.6 centimeter so that is the time period if they ask frequency it will be the reciprocal of this but convert it to meters so that you get the answer in hertz 20th answer 20th sum a simple pendulum completes 40 oscillations in one minute what's the frequency well the definition of frequency is number of oscillations per second so the formula is upon time 40 oscillations upon 60 seconds because they had given one minute so we get the answer as 0 0.67 hertz and in part b they've asked the time period well that's a reciprocal of frequency but don't reciprocate the decimal answer because this is a rounded off value so you will have to reciprocate this fractional value so we'll get 1.5 seconds as the answer now 20 second sum the length of a second's pendulum is 100 centimeter second pendulum means time period is two seconds in the the other pendulum has a time period of 2.4 seconds. What is the length of the second pendulum? Well, don't use unitary method here because the square is involved. You see, the square of the time period is directly proportional to the effective length of the pendulum. I could have even written this as square root of L here. But with this, we can find this ratio directly. That is a ratio of the squares of the time period is equal to the ratio of the respective effective length of pendulum. Notice that 4 pi squared and g have been cancelled because all of those things, all of those things are equal in the numerator and denominator. They are constant. By the way, if it was g and uh, g is inversely proportional, so this equation would have changed. It would have been g2 upon g1. Now let's substitute the values. t1 is given as 2, t2 is 2.4, square it. And length 1 is 100 centimeters. No need to convert it to meters. It's okay. What this means is after cross multiplying, I will also get the answer in centimeters. Now the 24th sum. Calculate the time period of a simple pendulum whose length is given and it's on the moon. So it's uh, acceleration into gravity is one sixth that of the earth. Well, one sixth of uh, 9.8 is 1.63, by the way. That's the acceleration into gravity on the moon because the moon's gravity is weaker. So they have asked us to find the time period. So I'm going to use the root formula. Pi is 3.14, square root of 1.4. That's a perfect square, nice, 1.2. A square root of 1.63, we don't know. So they should give it in the question. It's 1.28, by the way, rounded off. 1.69 would have been better. That would have been a perfect square, but it's okay, 1.28. Now this is normal math, it's calculation. Get rid of decimals, cut, cut, and then actually divide to get 5.88 something so that's rounded off to 5.89 seconds a 0 0.01 error is allowed so if you write 5.90 seconds even that is okay next let's uh, study a numerical in the assignment question 9 bravo first they want the pitch pitch means a main scale division well clearly on the main scale one centimeter is divided into 10 parts so it's going to be one millimeter or 0 0.1 centimeter which is as usual now the least count is pitch upon number of divisions in vernier scale i can see 0 to 10 so there are 10 vernier scale divisions all these extra pink markings are irrelevant cancel them so i got the pitch i got the linear uh, the least count as 0 0.01 centimeter which is the usual least count of a vernier scale now they want the reading shown by the vernier scale so what is the main scale reading i told you look at the zero the zero is between 0 0.7 and 0 0.8 centimeters so main scale reading is always lower one out of the two so it's 0 0.7 centimeters now the vernier scale reading for that i need the coinciding division so that is the fifth coin the fifth vernier scale is the coinciding it's a straight line here so substituting these values we have msr we have vsr which is lc into cd and then add them to get the final reading hi students this is aj sir if you like this video press the like button if you would like to enroll for my online test series or online lectures, email me or message me on Instagram. Check the description for more information.